Welcome back guys back, my name is Senki from Digislots and today we are talking about the new TOCC deck. Yes, Yellow Hybrid with Rapid One together merge in a new way to play a new control hybrid heal deck. But first, right left, hit button, the thumbs up button for more awesome content. And don't forget, that I'm 50 subscribers, we're only missing 8 subscribers. We're having a giveaway, additional 1 Mastermon and 1 Pelletermon deck. Mastermon deck, you need cards for your deck as well to play this. And for the future, so nice to pick up, I'm throwing some BT7 or BT Apex, what you want, I throw some in that's no worries thank you guys for supporting we are growing a lot and what you need to do is be a subscriber like the video and let me know what is your favorite um, deck or card i showcase you guys in the list i hope you like the new way i introduce to you the deck profiles you can give me some we, we change some things you can say if you have any things to say hey thank you change this or this let me know down let me know down below in the comment sections i will answer you that thank you very much for the support guys your nice community much love enjoy the video Welcome to a new world to play heal control decks. Today guys, I showcase you guys yellow hybrid rapid mon. We having again today uh, five categories with a five star system that you can see what the deck do, what is strength and what is weakness. We having again the armor pitch effect like I told you in superior German deck. And I told for new watchers again. When this Digimon will be deleted, you might trash the top card of the Digimon to prevent the Digimon from being deleted. So you prevent the deletion to delete the level 4 and have again the level 3 on board to go up into a new combi and new way of strategies. We start today with the consistency. I give it a 2.5 rating because you only add cards from your security or one card that added from your deck. TK Takashi. It says Look at your security stack, then you read with one card and add it to your hand. It must be a yellow card to recover again, but you can add another card to your hand. Don't recover, in this matter, as example, you can add Susanomon and can play around mirror matches or other decks. The other card is Zoe Orimato. She say you might search your security stack for one card with hybrid or tenable words in front. So you can easily add your hybrids or 10 warriors from your deck to your hand and have your combo pieces. The only card um, that add cards from your deck to your hand is Analog Youth. Reveal the top 3 cards of your deck, add 1 Digimon card among them to your hand. So you can choose other Digimon what you need for your combo to fill out your grave with more even hybrids to play into your Susanomon. That is really really cool. Now we're coming to the next one. One of the better features of this deck is recovery. Recovery heals you for more situations you can play more things that are not based on aggressivity. This deck is based on healing with cards like Zalamon. This rookie says on deletion if you have three or further security cards trigger one recovery. It needs to be to die but you can trade into other demons or into the security and hope it dies and then recover one. Jet Sifimon as a hybrid card and it's, um, uh, as a Digimon you can evolve up into other hybrids with a new combo introduced in BTO7. If a card with hybrid in the threats is in this Digimon, the evolution card recovery plus one. So if you evolve up into cards or Zephyrmon, you can boost your security as well with Zoe Orimoto that can evenly heal you and build up a new stack. Reinforced memory boost as well, reveal the top two cards of your deck, place one of them on the top of your security stack, face down, add the remaining card into your hand. So you recover one and add one card into your hand, it's pretty good. Your, your opponent knows what there is, but sometimes there are good cards. As last card, the Ruffy one, when you evolving, trigger recovery one. And this is all for the healing part. Evoline, the next thing in our list. 
Since we play a lot of Tamers, we can also digitate them, so we draw a lot of cards in our deck um, because we're playing hybrids, the hybrids in our deck and the costs are reduced of them. We can digivolve up into a level 6 Digimon, so we're having a lot of draw potential. As well as we can evolve up into rookies and Kazumon and Rapidmon in the back, it helps really, really good. And of course, we having not only an evil line thing, we have in our deck as well Ball Control. Ball Control gives us cards like the new card Rapidmon. So spend one of your opponent's Digimon for each Tamer in play, and up to three of your opponents to spend the Digimon get minus 5000 DP. So you to spending one Digimon and then reduce the DP, we can swing with our Rapidmon over the huge Digimon, which is really, really helpful. What is helpful as well is to play the new yellow tamer we're getting Cody Hida. When your Digimon with two or more colors attack you might suspend this tamer to give one of your opponent's Digimon minus 2000 dp for the turn. So you're having additional 7000 dp reduced and Rapidmon is a beefy boy as well. After destroying a Digimon with Patamon you're gaining one memory as well so you have a little bit of combo in your deck. Aggression. Now we're coming to the new thing, we're having Seraphimon in our deck. Why you have three or more security cards? Digimon gets gain security attack plus one. Seraphimon is really good to push in the early game because the healing and then having a multiple check makes him really strong. The only thing he has a lot or he has not so much DP that you can say, okay, I'm comfortable I swing, but you can swing because you play only this level six. If you want to play Dynasmon, the stack has not much accuracy. You can put one star because Sir Ruffyman does a lot of good jobs. So Zonamon is a really good card because since we're playing win rate in our deck, it allows us to reduce the cost of the Zonamon to shuffle back 10 tamers with hybrids together from your trash or hand under your deck, destroy a Digimon. And he can also, when it's your turn, swing with three checks because the effect giving him two plus security for itself, so he has all of the times free checks. It makes it really powerful. Since we play a lot of tamers, we having access to hybrids and we are very aggressive, so each tamer is a potential hybrid to can swing in your security. As well, like I told you before, the little Salamon check in the early game helps you as well. So we come into the last part. We have draw power. Draw power with the power to go into a level 6 Digimon and we can evolve up into our Tamers. We draw not so many cards, we having a huge input as well as we adding cards in our hand from our security Digimon or hybrids or as well yellow cards with the TK or other cards missing in our combo with like adding Windred or Susanomon having to fill out our hearts to have additional combos to survive the early game up into the mid game the only draw power you have in your deck is the X. The X giving you the potential to draw. We come in with Upamon. Upamon says if you have three or less life you draw one card so the ratio up to you what you're playing with your X is up to you but we have as well Kupimon. Kupimon, when you have 5 or more lives, you draw one card again. So you have been these two as war draw power. You can play as well more counter cards since we're playing only 3 women's breath in the list. So the Japanese meta list I showcase you guys as well. And if you have a little bit of example how to build a deck, you can play as well Swartz if you want to in your deck or other build. But it's coming later on the Far or Farnimon build I will showcase you. You have more variety of playing level 6. You can play as well Dinosmon like we did now in our meta and not so much the Raffimon. This is up to you how it will evolve. I hope you like it what I said to you. Have fun with the other parts.